Our top story this morning, days away from abandoning war tone Afghanistan, U.S. President Joe Biden has strongly defended his decision to pull U.S. military forces out. Joe Biden has expressed confidence in the Afghan military, adding that Taliban takeover of the country is not something that is inevitable. The Biden administration has continued drawdown efforts in Afghanistan, which is struggling with the Taliban's consistent and violent push for power. The Biden has shown and this administration, Biden administration has shown faith in Afghan military's ability to repel the Taliban, while also denying reports that U.S. intelligence had forecast a collapse of U.S.-backed government in Kabul in six months amid warnings of a civil war. Biden has announced August 31st as the day that the U.S. military mission in Afghanistan will end as he concluded that the U.S. military has achieved its goals in the country, which were to degrade al-Qaeda and prevent more attacks on the United States. The United States did what we want to do in Afghanistan, to get the terrorists to attack us on 9-11 and deliver justice to Osama bin Laden and to degrade the terrorist threat to keep Afghanistan from becoming a base from which attacks could be continued against the United States. We achieved those objectives. That's why we went. Biden also said that it was highly unlikely that one government will control Afghanistan after the U.S. pullout and urged Afghan government to reach a deal with the Taliban. It's a silly question. Do I trust the Taliban? No. But I trust the capacity of the Afghan military, who is better trained, better equipped, and more, re more competent in terms of conducting war. Biden also assured Afghan military translators that there is a home for them in the United States. Last week, U.S. forces vacated the U.S. epicenter of the conflict to oust Taliban the Bagram airfield. The air base was used to hunt down al-Qaeda perpetrators of the 2001 terrorist attacks on the U.S. that triggered the war. Remaining U.S. troops are now concentrated in the Afghan capital, Kabul. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.